Hey Super Nerd Fighters, it's not Wednesday anymore, it's Thursday, but it's almost Wednesday, I'm a little late. I just got back from D&D, &D and I was really busy today, so I didn't have time to make a video, so I'm making it now. I'm not going to be editing it because I'm tired and I need to get up for class tomorrow, so here we go. Someone asked what our favorite cereal was, and it's a tough question, it's kind of a toss-up between a lot of things, but... My, I think my favorite would have to be Lucky Charms, because I like waiting till the very end and like eating all the marshmallows at one time, because I think they're really delicious, and it's good to eat them all at the same time, because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and they taste really good. I like marshmallows. And Lucky Charms has marshmallows, and that's why I chose them as my favorite cereal. Because I don't think there's any other cereal out there with marshmallows in them, as far as I know. There might be. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. So, yeah. Um, thank Alas is how our spring break was, and mine was pretty awesome. I went to Arkansas to hang out with some TBS sisters, and then we drove to Oklahoma for a TBS workshop. And I get to meet a lot of people and make a whole bunch of new friends, so it was a lot of fun getting to meet all them and hang out with everyone and stuff. And then I drove back, I went to Dallas on the way back, and stopped by to see my friend Allie, who I haven't seen in a long time, because... She's been in college, and every time she goes on to Kingwood, I'm not there, so I don't really get the chance to hang out with her, so that was a lot of fun, too. Then the next day, I went to Arlington to go to Six Flags with Callie and some other friends, and we stayed at my friend Michelle's place, so that was a lot of fun. It was kind of raining when we got there, like in the morning, to Six Flags, but eventually it died down, so the rides opened up, so we got to ride almost everything, but it was still a good time. St. Patrick's Day, I didn't really do anything except sit at home and play video games with my friend Tyler. So that was cool, too. I went to Galveston one day with Callie and some other friends, and we hung out on the beach. We flew with kites. We played football, volleyball, and just goofed off and had a lot of fun. It was pretty good times. And then I went to spring one day and hung out with uh, some of my friend, some of Jake's friends from Baylor. And I got to meet them, and that was pretty cool, too. So all in all, I didn't really spend that much time in Kingwood, but spring break was still really good, and I had a lot of fun. And it was probably the best spring break I've had so far. I think that's all I really have to talk about. My question for you guys. Um, Jamie, if you haven't finished reading the Harry Potter books, I would advise you to stop watching now, because I don't want to spoil anything for you. So stop watching. Okay, but my question for the rest of you guys is, whose death do you think was the saddest in the entire series? And your choices are Sirius Black, Albus Dumbledore, Dobby, or Severus Snape. And my vote would have to go towards Snape because I think it was really sad that how after he died, we saw his memory, and then you still find out that he's, you know, been on the good side the entire time, and he still had that love for Lily and everything, and... That's one of the few parts I died, or not died, one of the few parts I cried in the book, and I thought that was really, really sad that that had to happen to him. And it was kind of inevitable, but, well, it wasn't really. I still think Harry and Hermione could have stopped that from happening, but that's a different story. So, um, let me know what you guys think, and, yeah. So, I'm going to sleep after I upload this, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.